You know, the only problem about being sand, man, is sand gets everywhere. And I do mean everything. Hello, hello, fellow collectors. This time we're going to be reviewing Sandman, Marvel Select Figures. You'll see that Sandman is in his classic ugly green and black sweater with those ugly brown pants. Yeah, I always feel sad for this guy because he got trapped in those clothes forever. But you'll see here this character does come with four additional um, accessories. The first one we'll look at is the sand axe. And nice uh, sand detailed grit look in there. The next one is a Morning Star Mace. The next one is actual hand. Now this hand does allow for movement and you'll notice this is a left hand. And last one we'll take a look at is this grabbing hand and it has a little bit of a popping back and forth so it can look he can grab a figure and hold on to it. And they all are attached via hole, removing his hands. So as we get a closer look at the figure himself, we can see that he has that little grin on and has that green, ugly sweater, as I said before. And he, he's pretty uh, muscular. Um, they definitely add the muscles to this guy. So you'll see his brown pants here. And he does have a, a belt, which I thought was a nice touch. And we can look at his feet. We can see his shoes here. Okay, for articulation. This guy can look up, look down, left and right without any problems. That is a big, bulky neck he's got. He can do a, a nice T-pose. And he has... You can hear that this nice ratchet is, and it helps when he's got the the attachments on there he does have a bicep swivel and a single bend and his wrists do rotate at the joint and his fists do open and close he can wave bye 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 now bye bye and has a nice ab and waist he can do a nice forward and back. Um, as far as split goes, because of this way it's designed, he can get a pretty good kick in, do a really good Von Damme pose. There we go. And we notice his knees do have a double bend and he does have rocker ankles and does have a toe bend. So it's very nice to see a Marvel character with toe bends, right? Okay, we get this guy set up here, and we see this is a pretty tall figure. When we're looking at his height, we see he reaches a seven inch mark. And, and I'm gonna try to do this, and let's see if I can get it done. For the weight, try to get everything on at the same time. Oh yes, and he comes in at six ounces. Four figure comparisons, Duke. And bring in DC Multiverse Hazmat Batman. You'll see that he fits in pretty nice. Um, definitely a very tall character indeed. So, final thoughts on this guy. Being a Spider-Man fan, I always loved uh, the Sandman. And just the thought of somebody being able to form anything out of their body and being made of sand. And the fact that this guy is taller than the normal Spider-Man figures and uh, he's seven inches instead of six inches adds to that uh, monstrosity with the extra hands. Nice touch. As always, guys, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.